I am just the dust of the earth. In this video, I must apologize because I refer to me and myself quite a bit in this video. But I need to remind you that this is not about me, but about the one who saved me by his grace and his love. And he called me to be a last day's watchman with dreams and visions. Many strange things have happened to me over the years. And every one of them, they all prove that God is real, alive, and moving in our world even today. I was dedicated to God before I was even born. My mother, Marie Lamb, who passed away at her home in 1994 of cancer. My mother contracted tuberculosis in 1945, and she was sent to the Arkansas TB Sanatorium in Boonville, Arkansas. And she was at the Nyberg building for a little over four years, which is still the tallest building in Boonville, Arkansas. And yes, you can look it up. Google Earth, it's, it's, look it up on Google, it's still there. Now she spent two years in one room on the top floor, unable to leave. And back then there was no TV, only radios, and they were very expensive and she didn't have a radio, no fan unless you bought your own and no air conditioning and nothing to do but to read your Bible and so she did after a little over three years they let her uh, start leaving on weekend passes and so my father would drive over from Caraway Arkansas to Boonville to pick up my mother for her weekend pass and they spent a couple of these weekend passes in a local motel and since they were married, this did not raise any eyebrows. It was one of these weekend passes at a motel in Boonville, Arkansas, and this is where I was conceived. Now, since my mother was still a resident in the TV sanatorium and under doctor's care, they quickly discovered that she was pregnant with me. Now, her doctors, they insisted that she have an immediate abortion to save her life. They told her that she could never carry me to full term, and to attempt to do so would kill her and me. Her doctors insisted on an abortion, and this was at a time when abortions were not allowed. They were not legal in any way, except in extreme circumstances. But my mother, reading the Word of God, put her faith in God and His Word. And she insisted that God gave her this baby, and if God took her baby, or, took, or if God took her, and her baby, it would be God's will and not her doctor's will. My mother insisted and her doctors, they persisted in demanding she have an abortion to save her life. But thank you mother and thank you God for your word, your love and your saving grace. You see God saved my life even way back then. And since she was nearing the end of her stay and her reco recovery was almost complete, they discharged her and they uh, they didn't want to want to be responsible for her death or her baby's death by insisting that she keep her baby me so my mother gave me to God dedicated me to God even before I was born I owe Jesus everything as, as he gave everything for me he held nothing back from me he gave it all so who am I to hold anything back from him I owe Jesus my very life so, I am not my own. I belong to Jesus. I say his will be done in heaven and on earth. His will be done. My mother started out trusting in Jesus, and then I learned to trust in Jesus. And I think we will keep on trusting in Jesus. Now, who do you put your faith and trust in? I am nothing special, just the dust of the earth. But I am God's dirt. And yes, I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. But I know. I know where to go to get forgiveness. I get on my knees. I cry, I cry, I weep, and I repent of all my sins. So whose dirt are you? I tell you these things so that you believe me. When I tell you, I was called by God to be a last day's watchman with dreams and visions. And all that has happened to me proves that God is real. And he wants you to be warned as to what is to come. Because you are being warned. 
Remember, God always warns before he sends judgment. Everything in these last days is winding down. Everything is collapsing. And you need to decide where to place your faith and your trust. In Satan and a collapsing and dying world? Or in Jesus and his promise of paradise to be forever young in a glorified body and live forever? That is your choice. Choose wisely. God bless you and yours mightily. And may God keep you and yours in his loving arms, just like he held me. With much love and more grace from above. Amen. And we love and pray for all of you. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name I pray. Amen. Because we're going home soon. We're going home soon. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus your saving grace for your sacrifice that you made for us we so don't deserve it we so don't deserve it thank you lord thank you lord thank you